No, no, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just upset. Okay. No. Okay. Um, can you just come over? Okay. Thank you. I think you. I love you. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay. Uh, you really need to convince me. Why do you want these people to come over? Look, okay, it's just a couple of the girls from my werewolf support group. Mm -hmm. well, couple like two, couple like twelve. What's a pack? In between those. Yes, Jeff. I knew it. No Monica could resist a shave and a haircut. Is there something that you wanted from me, Jeff? Just to see your beautiful eyes and that smiling face that's the reason I get out of bed every morning. Oh yeah. Come mm -hmm. on, it's just a little smile please. Everyone's being so heavy today. Well, why do you think that is, Jeff? It's just, I don't want to, I can't deal with Okay, if you want to, you know what, if you want to be all teenage girl about this, I'll just go and be here in adult world, okay? That's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing it down. I'm sending it to Leno. Mm, the camera's on again. That's Hi, awesome. Jeff. Hey. Look, I really think you're gonna like them, and we haven't had a party in forever. It's because I don't like people like <laughs> Jeff, who points cameras at me constantly. Hey, this is all supposed to be natural. Just live in your space. As natural as this. Is that my Capri Sun? It might be, but Capri Sun's clear. I'm pretty sure. Look. Okay. All I'm asking is that you just hear Andy out, all right? You just think about it a little, all right? I don't know, why don't we ask the audience since the camera's on? Let's ask the, the people watching us in TV land. Hello, um, what do you think of having Andy's Sad Werewolf Club come over? I, that's not really how it works. Yeah, I, this isn't live or anything. I, I could set up some internet polls. Okay, great. Um, I'm wrong again. I really appreciate you two teaming up on me, oh, and no. uh, I'm just, I'm just upset. I'm gonna go to my room. Oh. Oh. Andy has been spending a lot of time with them, like a lot, and they're like her support group, and we're her friends, and this is like her entire social structure. Okay, I will think about it, Jeff. Okay, if you leave oh. now, I will think about it. You know how I want to have some people over and have like a party thing? Well, yeah, I sort of sprang it. Yeah. I sort of sprang it on Monica, and she's not really into it, but Jeff uh, amazingly talked to her and it's all fine. Why are we all so surprised? <laughs> it's it's actually true. Um, if you have to understand, if she's not talking to me, that's pretty normal. If she's not talking to Jeff, we have way major problems, but it sounds like she feels much better. Now, I am telling you, I worked my Jeff magic. She is fine. Ah, good news. I'm going out with Danny. Hey, Ben, see you later. Okay, so I may not be as charming as I previously thought. And my keys were all the way in that little part where... Um, They're always in that little part. Right That's the first place I look now. Yeah, so now good. That's the new you thing. should. That's exactly where they always are. Oh. Look at this. Oh no. I got a toy to play with. Okay, seriously, I want to smash that thing. <laughs> get it away from me. Okay. I'm, I'm not even... Oh really? That goes off. All right. Ooh, I got it. Oh my god. What did I tell you about the thing? That you wanted to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> See, Look at you listening to me. <laughs> oh, it's like the first time ever. Oh, ever. Yes. Okay, what are you so upset about? Come here. Okay, okay. Talk to me. Uh, I don't like fighting with her. Yeah? Yeah. So? So, she's just treating it like it's this terrible thing. It's like, she goes to these support groups mm -hmm. and she has all these new friends, and I'm fine with that. She can be friends with whoever she wants. I don't care. It's just right. Like, why? I have the same condition. I don't treat it like it's this like burden on me all the time, and that and she does, and I don't get it. Well, but that's what you're kind of like a good balance of each other, maybe, because she's gonna like analyze and understand and do mm -hmm. math equations about it, and you're just gonna kind of take life and roll. That's what I love about you is that you just kind of. I don't know, if a tree fell in the, the apartment right now, <laughs> he would be like, all right, there's a tree in our apartment. You know what? <laughs> and Andy would freak out and take samples of the tree. Yeah, understand how do trees fall and what trajectory and anyway. <laughs> um, but no, just let her, I, I don't know. 
I don't know her as well as you do, but I would say this: that she is just let her run her course, let her let her kind of figure it out how she does, and just be there for her. And whenever she's, you know, wants someone who just can just, you know, and you can be a role model for her, maybe an example. An example. Yeah. I'm an example. You're an example for me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then, I'll let her sad werewolf friends come over. Don't call them that in front of their faces. Okay, well, I make no I don't even do it because you might just be, mm, okay. okay. I make no promises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. I gotta, um, I left. I gotta get my, um. You! <laughs> you left the camera on! Good job! Okay, alright, real quick. So, I don't know what Danny and Monica were doing with my camera, alright, that it's mine, and, you know, I don't come into Monica's room and, like, rifle through everything often, but, neither here nor there, they're up to something, I'm gonna find out what, because I am this generation Sherlock Holmes, which brings me to the mystery of the evening, Andy's werewolf get-together, which she has banned me from filming, but the truth knows no borders, so I have assumed a disguise and I shall be attending incognito to pass the truth on to you. You know, I never asked you guys because I didn't want to be weird, but how did you two meet? Oh, well, we've known each other for a while and it just kind of, that's awesome. I kind of just wore it down. <laughs> oh, I have a girl, I have a girl just like that because like getting a girlfriend is just like applying for a job. You just call and call and call and then uh, eventually I'm, not, I'm sorry, but who are you? So what is this for again? I'm, I'm documenting and exposing the truth, the underbelly of the lives of my roommates as they deal with their furry affliction. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, Andy, she is so awesome. I love that girl to death. She's just amazing. This, this is Jeff. I'm Jeff. Uh, he's oh, one of my roommates. Hi, oh, the um, BA in film history? Uh, um, marry me right now. Uh, Vegas, let's do it. I so easily. Taken. You forget your love for Monica. Oh, please. Can you remind him about that more? <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Well, let's talk about you. Well, let's werewolf talk a bit. Tell me about yourself and your furry self. Um, well, I am a werewolf. I've been one for a year now. Um, well, 13 months, technically. Um, I'm an actress. Uh, I, I saw your reel. Really great stuff. Oh, ah, the commercials. Yeah. Everyone's seen the commercials. I totally hate them. Andy, please. I want to meet this perfect guy of yours. Oh! Oh! Hi! Perfect. <laughs> Hi, hi, I'm Ben. Oh, How are you? Hi, this guy. Is ben. Hi, I'm yeah. Becky. Thanks. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hi, guys. I'm gonna drink more because I can't deal with that. So it's like a whole bunch of lies. Because that guy, that weird guy that can't act, that is a wolf spirit. No, he's not even a real wolf spirit. I'm the one that's the wolf spirit, you know? And so I asked them, hey, could I, you know, possibly switch parts? No, they, they will never let me play who I am. Cheers to that. Mm hmm. So, mm. Monica, how do you know everyone? Whew. <laughs> well, I know Andy for about our whole lives. We grew up next door to one another. And this guy I have known for about three years now. I like to think that I didn't truly live until we first met. Oh, oh that's, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm just going to keep drinking. Hey, hey, Mom, maybe you should uh, slow down just a little. That's not going to happen. Uh, it's, no, film school. It's, you're looking for anything. There. Well, you know, stuff doesn't always turn out the way you planned. I mean, you got bit and we're thinking one thing and then it turns into another and... No, I mean, it's... I don't want it to sound like it's bad or anything. I'm very happy that I am a lone wolf now. I mean, it's... It's comforting because I don't really need anyone aside for myself, so... <laughs> we are. Yeah. No, we're very happy. Very good. Super. So happy we shared our wolf. Oh, that's great. Sweet, I don't know if you want no, to dive into is, that whole thing. It's sharing. We're making friends. With Laura, we were hoping for something to happen, and we were hoping to be more compatible than we were, and now it's a big issue because it, it bothers her a lot more than it bothers me. She's much more of a companion and much more of a loner. Women, it's, am I right? You know, like, <laughs> you can't, you know, live with them. You can't be on a dog sled team with them or I, I, that to, sort of thing. To be honest, I, I was already sort of 
a little bit more of a lone wolf before I got bit, but this just really... Like Tom Cruise. Yeah, so it's very Tom Cruise, and she was much more of the goose that I didn't really want to have with me. Oh my god. And um, it was really special, and good. it was weird and gross, of course, because you're <laughs> biting, but I mean, <laughs> it's it was awesome. Uh, and weird and gross, that really goes with that. It, it does, it oh, fits. Well, well, hey, it Monica, I feel like the, the werewolf lobby in Washington could do a lot more, you know. I like that, Monica. It's difficult not to. She's got a charm. Really nice meeting you. Yeah. Just... He turned into a lone wolf, so that was just something. Oh. Don't make it sound like it's a bad thing. I mean, it, it's not a bad thing. It's just a thing. Yeah, but you kind of that, put like a tone with it that uh, it was something that. Don't. Um. It's not a bad relationships thing. are hard. They they are hard. Yeah, there's just things that, that you, you can't. Have to, you have to just work, work through. through. Exactly. Work through. There you go. My, yeah. I, really? Yeah. Uh, who are you? I'm I'm Jeff. We were gonna get couch married. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, but no offense. You don't know us at all. You don't know anything about us. Because, of course, this would happen to me. The man of my dreams has an incompatible wolf. <laughs> Damn it. You're sure I don't know you? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Really, you look so Hope familiar. Not. It's really hard to struggle with something every day and then not be able to tell anyone about it. Well, I I, I, I get it, clear, I get it. No, no, you don't. No, I do, I do, I do. Okay, you gotta trust me, because uh, Monica, Monica, she always says to me that, like, it's important to accept and embrace the wolf, because it's a part of who you are, and if you don't embrace a part of who you are, uh -huh. then you're not being true to yourself. Okay, so you're totally you... in love with her. Okay, yes. that's my piece. Diddy! Hey! Hi. Hey. How you doing? Good. Hey, man. Um, What's Hi, hi. Ben. Ben. Nice to finally meet you, man. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Been hearing a lot about you. Good. All good, about, I hope, for no. the most part. No. We, got the, we, got the, we got the lean back sway, huh? Yes. You been drinking? No. Mm. It's been a long day. Cut it's off. Been I'm not cut off. A long day. I can have that. Cut Are we off. really still on camera? Can we really not do this right now? Yes. Turn it off because Danny said so. Yeah, and because we've had a lot to drink um, tonight. And. Let's go! Please. That was my beverage! We joke around a lot, but the yeah. we're roommates and, and stuff. No, you're so in love with her. You know why? Because all that crap that she's telling you, you wouldn't believe it otherwise. It's not oh, You know what? I want to tell you one more thing. If that's Danny McKenzie and she is really dating him, you don't have a shot, so I suggest you move on, okay? I have a high-profile boyfriend, and I love him to death, and I'm not letting him go. Well, that's good. You don't want to let go of a high-profile boyfriend. I mean, what other purpose does he serve besides his profile, right? You know what? Oh! 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right here. Give me a blanket. Andy, give me a blanket now. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. You're fine. Privacy? Around. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. I have you. It's going to be okay. We're going to do this together, okay? Go to me. Okay? Ah, You're okay. Ah, You're okay. Just lay down. Uh, uh, 